Hey guys, today we're going to look at one of our practice problems from statics practice number two. Specifically, we're going to look at questions one, two, and three. So questions one, two, and three, we're looking at this truss. Now, uh, this truss has a roller on the left side, and it has a pin on the right side. Uh, it also has uh, joints A, B, C, D, and E. Uh, which you can see on the corners there. Uh, we've got uh, each of our members has a length of L and uh, we also have a couple of these green arrows which we'll we'll talk about why those are there uh, when we get into trusses in a couple of days. Um, so question one asks us to draw a free body diagram of the forces that are acting on point A. It says note that one force is already given, RA. It also says that there should be three forces. So I'm going to zoom in here so we can look at RA. So first things first, we need to remember that the net force that's acting on this thing is zero. But because this is a two-dimensional shape, that means two things. It means that the net force in the x direction has to equal zero, and it means that the net force in the y direction has to equal zero. Remember that we can't directly add a horizontal force to a vertical force. So let's take a look at what that could look like for the free body diagram. Well, we've got two members that are acting at this joint. We have member AB and we have member AE. And each of these members is holding some of that weight or applying a force down on that joint A, right? So let's draw a free body diagram down here of joint A. So joint A, we're going to start with our dot. The first force that I'm going to put is this RA. Now the arrow is pointing up from below the joint, but when we draw our forces we always draw them coming out of our dot of our free body diagram. So I'm going to label that RA. And now we need to figure out what these other two look like. So I'm actually going to draw them like this. So that this force right here is at a 60 degree angle. And this is our force from member AB. And the one on the bottom there, we're going to label that as FAE. So this might not look right, but this is actually the correct setup for this truss diagram. Now obviously if this thing is in equilibrium and at rest, then this won't work. One of these forces is going to have to flip. And what we'll find is that our reaction force is actually going to have to pull down instead of up, like this. But even that doesn't work because then both of these forces are in the horizontal direction and there's nothing going the other way to fix it. But when we get into trusses, we'll talk about how to fix this. But for now, this is the correct free body diagram for the first question. Those are the forces that we are given. We always assume that our, our forces are in compression until we calculate otherwise. Or sorry, uh, we assume that they're in tension until we calculate otherwise. Okay, so let's move on to the next question which is to draw a free body diagram of point B which is up here. Now this one's a little bit easier to draw because we have three members and there aren't any uh, there aren't any pins or rollers there and there's no outward applied force either. So for this joint B Let's draw our dot. And I'm going to go ahead and draw this horizontal force first. That's the force because of member BC. And then we've got the other two member forces as well. So we have the member force from FAB and the force from FBE. And those are just going to be at the angles just like we see them in the picture. 
F A B and F A E. And again, we could add these angles, but we'll do that later. For now, we can just see that they are not being applied. Actually, the angle between these two should be the same. I've added that little dotted line to represent the vertical axis so we can see kind of how these are definitely two-dimensional lines. So that would be joint B. And our last one is joint E. Now joint E has a lot going on. So this one is going to use five arrows. So joint E is down here. At joint E, we've got this external force, the load that's applied on the truss, which we have labeled as force P. We've also got member forces here that are going to go outwards in all directions like that. So let's go ahead and, and move that into our free body diagram down here. So I'll draw my dot, draw an arrow down for, I'll call it FP. You could also just call it P, that's fine too. This force is going to be the force because of ED. This force is going to be EC. This force is FEB. And this force is FAE. Uh, And if we want, we can go ahead and put this 60 degree angle in here as well. And that is the free body diagram for each of the problems that are in this practice set. If we look down a little bit further, oops, that's the only questions that relate to this free body diagram. But let's go ahead and let's look at joint D just to make sure that everybody gets it. So joint D has a reaction force up, it has a reaction force that way, and then it's got its member forces as well. So we've actually got two forces that are to the left here. So I'll draw that one over here. So here's our dot for our free body diagram. Reaction force D is straight up. Uh, we've got a member force this way which is FCD. We've got our reaction force in the X direction, which it's labeled as HD. I'm going to just label this as DX, because I, I don't really like that notation. I think it stands for horizontal, but I just use X. We also have another force in that direction, which is the member force FED. And that's it. We've got one, two, three, four forces in the uh, on this joint here. Okay, we've got our reaction forces R D Y and R D X. We have the member force F C D, and we have F E D. Okay, so we're combining some of our skills here, as you can see. So we've been talking about free body diagrams, and now we're making free body diagrams on trusses. Uh, in the next couple of days, we'll get some more practice with this, and we'll begin actually looking at trusses. So make sure that you are here as much as you can be uh, using these videos to review, and let me know if you need any help. See you guys next time.